I know, I know. When I say crime is the new black entitlement, it sounds stupid, right? It sounds like I'm just exaggerating to make a point that in the new criminal justice reform, that where you know too many people are, too many black people in prison, too many black people are being arrested for no reason whatsoever. But guess what? Crime is the new black entitlement, really. I picked up this morning, picked up the New York Daily News this morning, read a column from nationally syndicated columnist Leonard Pitts. New York Daily News is still, even though it's on the downside, it's still one of the bigger newspapers in the country. His column was picked up all over the country. This guy's a thought leader. So he writes a column, the big headline is, white people have to start, stop calling the police on black people, parentheses, for no reason whatsoever. And it wasn't, he wasn't just talking about the big kerfuffle we had at Starbucks the other day in Philadelphia. No, this is a whole, this is a whole range of issues that white people are always just messing with black people. And we shouldn't do that anymore because crime is the new black entitlement. We shouldn't call the cops if we see somebody breaking the law, especially a black person. That's kind of strange, isn't it? It's hard to believe unless you actually saw this being published in a major daily newspaper. Well, there it is. It gets stranger, it gets a lot stranger. Why don't we head down to Baltimore? They had a hip hop concert there in Baltimore the other night. Hip hop concert, you know, where they celebrate guns, drugs, money, bitches, and violence. As part of the black culture. The chief of police of Baltimore, police commissioner, I think they call him, he goes on stage at the hip hop conference and apologizes for 200 years of white racism directed at black people in Baltimore, especially the cops messing with black, black people in Baltimore. Because we all know in Baltimore, there's never any reason to call a cop on a black person because black people are relentless victims of, of, of relentless white racism all the time everywhere. That explains everything. Don't you know that? Space to destroy anyone. That's Baltimore. Baltimore's police commissioner takes the stage during a hip-hop concert downtown alongside the mayor. He addressed the crowd, but it appears many weren't interested in what he had to say. I want to take about 20 seconds This video posted by Baltimore Fishbowl, Baltimore Police Commissioner Daryl D'Souza is heard speaking to a crowd during last night's Eric B. and Rakim show at Baltimore Soundstage. Some applauded his apology, but many in the crowd booed. 200 years ago, all the way to civil rights, all the way to the 80s, when crack was prevalent in the cities and infected disproportionately African American men. Commissioner went on to say he promises changes will be made in policing in the future. Well, tonight, the president of Baltimore's police union issued this statement saying in part, quote, I'm not sure that a blanket apology covering 200 years is appropriate. Law enforcement was created to protect and serve the citizenry despite race, and that is what we strive to do daily, end quote. Baltimore Soundstage says the remarks were not choreographed, but they said in part, we saw two passionate public servants starting a conversation that needs to be had. These are, these are all things that I wouldn't expect anybody to believe unless I showed them to you. I mean, if I told you that a police commissioner went to a hip hop concert to apologize for 200 years of white racism, would you believe it? Would you believe it if I told you that a nationally syndicated columnist was telling people to stop calling police on white people, on black people? That's, I, mean, that's, I mean, every day it's something more unbelievable than the day before. We did a story a few, few months ago on a place, a neighborhood in Philly called Brewery Town. This is your classic uh, gentrified neighborhood. Black neighborhood, some of the hipsters move in with their coffee shops, their restaurants, their $13 alfalfa sandwiches or whatever they have there. And they have a gym. So for weeks and weeks and weeks, black people were harassing, threatening, taunting, throwing rocks 
at the, at the largely white clientele of this gym. So finally they called the cops, they arrested a few people, and then everybody, all the black people in the neighborhood got really pissed off in Brewery Town because, well, we were here first and crime is the new black entitlement, so why shouldn't we be allowed to hassle white people who move into this neighborhood? Well, nothing really changed in Brewery Town, nothing really stopped. Here's a story that just popped up in uh, the, uh, the news last night. A good example of, well, should we call the cops on black people or not? Chelsea neighborhood is about to boil over. Neighbors are very upset over what they call persistent problems with a nearby school for children with dis disciplinary issues. Now, they say a home surveillance camera caught the latest incident. And neighbors want to know, when is it going to stop? Our Don Timoney has been talking with them, joins us now in studio. Don. Well, Lucy, neighbors say they've had it. They say home surveillance video shows the kind of behavior they have to put up with day in and day out. It's extremely upsetting. Uh, you park your car, you think it's safe. And this happens. Two students identified as being from nearby Camelot Academy caught on home surveillance climbing on top of Daniel Steele's car on the 1500 block of North 26th Street. The pair jumping up and down like the car's a trampoline, leaving large dents in the roof. We heard these kids get out of school and run up and down the block unruly, vandalizing, and jumping on people's cars. It happened Wednesday afternoon just after 2.30. But people in this brewery town neighborhood say it's not the first time they've witnessed bad behavior by Camelot Academy students. This woman who doesn't want to be identified is fed up. There's constantly fights coming out of that school. You never know when you're going to come outside and kids are all over your car. Camelot is a transitional school for Philadelphia School District students who've had to leave their public school for disciplinary infractions and were sent here to get back on track. Kevin Gill works on the block and says the situation is getting out of hand. It's, you know, it's been excessive and it's been happening often. Gill actually mentors one of the Camelot students. And he's actually uh, expressed that they enjoy messing with us and I'm like, you know, I'm trying to tell him that that's not a good thing to be celebrating. I'm not saying Kirk Dorn is a spokesperson for Camelot Academy and says this is not a reflection of the some 300 other students. We're outraged as anybody else would be with this, um, but it's important to note that this incident happened more than an hour after school and away from school. Camelot Academy says it escorts its students from the school two blocks to the bus stop so this sort of thing does not happen and says the incident will be addressed. Um, our intention is to get these two kids with the owner of the car and with us and their parent and the kids' parents and, and work through things and have the kids learn from this. Now, the owner of the car reported the incident to police. He says the two young men need to be held accountable and he wants to be reimbursed for the damage. The school says it works hard to have a good relationship with the community. We do know that Camelot Academy has reached out to the victim, Lucy. You know, if you listen clearly to all these stories, if you listen carefully to these stories, they always say the same thing. Oh, yeah, that's been happening around here for a long time. They just keep doing it over and over again. Not only do they do it, they like doing it. It's fun messing with people in brewery town. Whether the people are black or white, it doesn't matter because somehow we've been taught that crime is the new black entitlement. We are entitled to get up in a car and jump up and down on it because we know nobody's really going to call the cops on us because we know there's too many black people in prison already for no reason whatsoever. Right, Mr. Pitts? Right, Mr. Ridiculous Commissioner of Baltimore? Right, Mr. Mayor in Philadelphia? It is the official policy of police in all these different places now. We are not going to arrest black people, no matter what. Unless you know, they kind of force us to. Jumping on a car, that's nothing. Is there a hip hop concert around here somewhere where I can apologize for that? But as we found out from watching that hip hop concert, even apologies make the black kids angry.